Hey guys, and a welcome back to the Exodus channel, your home for the best crypto videos. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and we will keep the videos coming. When people ask what is Web 3.0 or Web 3, they're often asking how the future internet is going to be different from what we have today and what we've had in the past. All your electronic correspondence are belong to us. Or home post office belong to us. Instant written communication belong to us. Between individuals anywhere in the world. Us, 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 us. Future. The future. The future. Main screen turn on. Chicken salad. Ugh. Cheese almond? Cheese burger. Some French fries and a nice cold bottle of beer. I'll see. Those tubes are filled with the internet. Have you heard about this internet thing? Great, anything to get out of here. All right, hold on a minute. Buzz, 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 buzz. Your Mac friend, Brent Rambo. Viewers over the age of 30 might remember the static web pages of Web 1.0, which were basically an information dump that internet users could browse but not interact with. Did you try resetting the modem? It might be hard to imagine now, but back in the early 1990s, it still wasn't possible to add photographs or attachments to an email. Attachments for men. And also, the internet screamed on every you tried to access it. As we move into the 2000s, search engines like Google started to bring order to the internet and websites became more interactive. Web 2.0 is very much typified by social media sites like YouTube, Blogger and Facebook and then later by the birth of apps that we use on our mobile devices. This period saw not just a huge increase in file sharing, but also in the amount of digital data that was produced by all of these interactions. Those who moved quickly enough to actually capture this data and create a network effect became the kings of Web 2.0. The business models of tech companies like Google and Facebook saw them become incredibly rich and powerful through the free harvesting of data from users and the sale of targeted data to advertisers. This monopoly of web power came about as a result of free market activities. It wasn't planned or agreed in any democratic way. A type of laser beam is slicing into the saucer section. You're carving us up like a roast. The emergence of blockchain means that we will actually now be able to consciously build Web 3.0 in a way that works for everyone. One of the major differences is that Web3 will give users more control over their data. They will have the power to decide who, if anyone, collects their data, how it will get used, and whether they get a cut of the platform's revenues. This model reflects the value of user contributions to online ecosystems and is already in place on some forward-thinking projects like the Brave Web Browser, which actually prevents third-party tracking and allows users to choose whether they want to see pop-up ads or not. Brave introduces new technology that matches relevant ads and brands with people while preserving privacy. And those who opt into seeing ads across Brave platforms are actually rewarded in Basic Attention Token, the browser's native cryptocurrency. Brave users can also choose to tip content creators with the BAT token, taking the power away from intermediaries like YouTube, who usually decide who can and who can't make money from the content. Another big change is that future web users will be able to have a cross-platform online identity. This will be like a driver's license, except the identity will be secured by the blockchain and exist only online. We will use our identities to sign into websites, sign up for services, fill out mortgage applications, claim tax refunds, and so much more. My identity was stolen. <laughs> His identity was stolen. <laughs> Blockchain-based projects like Civic, Cardano, and Ontology are already trying to build these digital identity frameworks, and many platforms are trying to onboard the very first successful blockchain-based social media network. In Web3, a person's online community won't exist solely on one centralized platform. Friends will be linked through their online identities. And if a user opens up an account on a new social media site or DAP, they'll bring all of their connections across with them. These are some of the changes that Web3 can make to existing services. But perhaps the most exciting prospect is what advances in machine learning could bring to the internet of the future. Tim Berners-Lee, the inventor of the World Wide Web, has coined the term semantic web to refer to new distinctions that artificial intelligence is able to make when searching for and linking information. By understanding the meaning of words and the relationship between different pieces of data, a Web3 search will have the ability to distinguish between relevant and irrelevant information like a human can do. 
Also, due to the increased connectivity across Web3, accessing the information or content that you want will be possible across multiple platforms instead of siloed into individual platforms like we have with Web 2.0. This brings an extra layer of importance to blockchain projects that aim to connect all of the major blockchains together, like Polkadot and Cosmos. In fact, many aspects of Web3 are already in their first iterations today, like cloud computing, augmented reality, and the Internet of Things. What is my purpose? Pass the butter. Which actually allows us to connect to everyday items and appliances to the web. What is my purpose? You pass butter. Oh my god. Yeah, welcome to the club, pal. Blockchains like IoTech have been launched to regulate the trusted exchange of information in the emerging world of IoT, as it's predicted that by 2030, 100 billion devices will be connected to the internet, outnumbering humans by a factor of 10 to 1. This is what life in the 21st century is going to be all about. Wherever you are, Siberia, Paris, Manhattan, all of us living on the great network that will connect everybody. The electronic version of you that lives in the system and works for you night and day. And maybe for some people, a bit scary. The agent has to know you intimately. Every detail of your every day, every moment of your business life. This means that there will be an exponentially large amount of data gathered about our personal lives and really flags up the importance of decentralized blockchain technology to essentially ensure that third parties cannot access our data without our express consent and to send a clear message that our data is private and belongs to us. this video helps you understand Web 3.0, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video from Exodus.